All right, so for this problem, uh, what they're asking us to do is to simplify, simplify the trigonometric identity. And when looking at simplifying this, uh, we have a cotangent squared, which is going to be helpful because we know when we're dealing with the Pythagorean identities, we can transform that. But then we have a cotangent to the fourth, which we've never really done anything with cotangent to the fourth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this and say, well, I have a trinomial. Um, let's maybe go and see if a trinomial, I might be able to factor it into my certain terms. So when looking at this, let's kind of forget. I always like when I'm looking into factoring, I always like to forget about I even have cotangent. Let's just pretend I have x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1. And we say, you know, how could we factor an expression like this? Well, to factor an expression like this, remember we have to have our two factors. And then the first two terms are going to multiply to give you uh, x squared, right? And then what two numbers last that you're going to add, multiply to give you 1, and then add to give you 2? Well, you could easily say that really what I have is x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 1. And really, all I'm doing is just inserting the, the cotangent in there. So really, my factored form of this problem is just cotangent x, cotangent squared of x plus 1, times cotangent squared of x plus 1. So in reality, I mean, I'm just working with easier problems without the cotangent, so you guys can see the factoring problem. And then you guys can see this, which ends up being uh, cotangent squared of x plus 1 squared. Then I need to go to my uh, trigonometric identity, or my Pythagorean identities, which we also wrote up top, right, which I said was very important for you guys to know. Because now you know cotangent squared plus 1 is going, now going to equal cosecant, good. So you have cosecant, that's a C, cosecant squared of x plus 1, or cosecant squared, squared, which ends up giving you a final answer of cosecant to the fourth of x. Cool? All right.